we have, we have put it out there that certain testing is the only solution because it is certainty. And, and certainly, I suppose the, the excuse is being used that we don't want to take from the HSE testing as such, which, Shannon, which of course, uh, Cork and Shannon Airport are, are not talking about that. But certainly it has to be done on, on a singular thing by the airports. And without it, there's nothing going to move. Mm. Yeah, the drivers, the drivers around testing are the airports. So we would be incredibly supportive of DAA's initiative last week as to what they can do. And, and I'm aware of that proposal, and I'm aware that they've put this, this to the department, but it doesn't seem to have gone anywhere from the department. We've had very good engagement with the department on the matters that are really relevant to us. Uh, our line, they're our line department, and they have been very helpful in guiding and directing us. But with regard to testing, it's a bit of a mute point for us because we're, we're the travel agents. We, we can't actually initiate it. The airports have to do it. It's key for the airports and the airlines, and we will do whatever we can to support it. And we will also call out the weaknesses in the current you know, traffic light system or in the previous you know, green, what shade of green system that we had for travel. You know, we've to, we've, we've to get back to travelling. We've to get back to a safe environment for consumers. We've to look at best-in-class cases in Europe. Dusseldorf has airport testing. Frankfurt has airport testing. Rome has been awarded a five-star Skytrax award. They have 40 biohazard staff in the airport working with their, their passengers on a daily basis. Why are we looking at these and why, you know, why can we assist the DAA in getting through their testing protocol? If they've come to you and said, we can test 15,000 a day, why aren't we doing it? Because that will provide the certainty you would hope for the medics who have genuine concerns in this area. I have no idea, Deputy. It's, 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 the, it's the single biggest inhibitor to travel being restarted in this economy across all so sectors. Give us your honest opinion as to why you believe it's not happening. Possibly it's timing and the case numbers going high. And, you know, I don't understand some of what we're doing in this country because we seem to be on solo runs on so many issues and travel what, what is one you, of them. What do you not understand that we're not doing? And I'll give you plenty of time. No, I'm happy for this to, to be... Uh... I, I look at a country like Italy, which was pandemic central back in February, opened for travel on the 3rd of June, inbound and outbound, and has done so successfully and safely and continues to have lower case rates than what we have. So we have locked down, we have closed travel, we have closed pubs, we have effectively closed entire sectors of our economy to no massive avail in terms of where we are seeing our community transmission rates going. And that has to come back to, if, we, if we're calling out community transmission, we're, we're acknowledging the fact that we don't know where the cause of the infection has come from. That's not good enough when we're seven months in and we have an economy in freefall.